Thank God for this time God has given us so that we can sit in the presence of God. In fact, uh, the series of messages that we give here, we call it Jesus' feet because we sit at the feet of Jesus. As Mary was sitting at the feet of Jesus and hearing from God. Uh, this day, I would like to read a passage from the very first book, Genesis chapter 1. Verse 1 onwards, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of the Lord was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from darkness. So we all know this passage by heart. And here we see God is creating heavens and earth. And we know that when God creates something, certainly it will be good. Because God cannot create something void and shapeless. That's a fact. But here we see that the earth was without form and void. How can it happen? When God creates something, can it be void and shapeless? No. Never. Because God is good and everything that he creates, it will be good. So when God created heavens and earth, we cannot believe it was void or shapeless. Even in the uh, book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 18. Book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 18. It says, For thus says the Lord who created the heavens, he is God, who formed the earth and made it. And it is said, he established it. He did not create it empty or chaos. He formed it to be inhabited. So, in book of Isaiah, we read, God did not create earth a chaos. It was not void. It was not shapeless. That's why I say that Everything God creates is good. And of course, when God creates the earth, certainly it would have been good. That's what we understand. But it is said that earth was without form and void. And many new translations, including NIV, gives a note. Probably it became. It became void and shapeless. It doesn't mean that when God created it, it was void and shapeless. And naturally, uh, that is not quite possible. So it became void and shapeless. Okay? So when he created it was good. But it became void and shapeless. That is uh, more probable than it was w without form and shapeless. shapeless. So it is said that the earth was without form and void and the very same verse and darkness was over the face of the deep. So that is the second problem. So when God created it, it was good and it was not void. But here we see darkness is entering. So probably it is the darkness that made it void and shapeless. But again there is a problem. From where the darkness came? Who created darkness? Sometimes people ask the question, who created darkness? Okay? When we say about darkness, even in the Bible, in many places, we see there are different meaning for darkness. Even when we speak in our own language, uh, those were my dark days, sometimes we say. It doesn't mean that... Uh, uh, there was no electricity that time. No. The meaning is that it was times of affliction. So for times of affliction, we call it days of darkness. Okay? Even God says the same. God says, it is I who created light and it is I who create darkness. The thing is, God says, in your life, 
it is i who give you uh, affluence and also it is me who gives you afflictions you get my point so we have times of affluence and times of um, afflictions so god says when something bad in our eyes then when it happens don't say that it is all from the devil sometimes it is from god because god wants us to learn some lessons and turn to god and that's the reason why many times many afflictions are coming into our life so darkness when we say darkness one meaning is afflictions and there is another meaning that is evil that also darkness in first john we see that john says that god is light and in him there is no darkness what is the meaning god is fully righteous he is light and there is no evil in him so there the meaning is evil okay and natural darkness it is there natural darkness in the night it is dark so natural darkness afflictions and evil it is all called darkness so again the problem who created darkness the truth is no one can create darkness and there is no need to create it because what is darkness darkness is absence of light if we need darkness here we cannot buy a bulb that gives darkness we just put off the lights and it is darkness so darkness do not have a being in itself so it is absence of light you get my point so because it is the absence of light the only meaning there is no light this must be the reason why earth became void and shapeless because god is light but the earth was not ready to receive the light and naturally it was under darkness so the earth failed to receive the light and it is darkness and when earth lost its contact with the eternal light that is god everything became shapeless and void and chaos it doesn't speak just about the earth it speaks about even people like us we were not created dark it's god who created us but what happened when god created man he was not a dark being but he chose darkness or he chose to be away from the light of god and when you are going away from the light of god naturally that affects your life and your life becomes void and shapeless and you will be afflicted in every way because you are in constant communion with the light that is god even jesus said i am the light of the world light and those who follow me will not walk in darkness rather he will live in the light of life so jesus is light god is light and when the earth was not ready to receive the light it is not clearly written in this passage all the details but this is the only thing we can understand you get me god created heavens and earth but it became void and shapeless and we understand god through this passage what kind of god we have when we have something good when it became uh, useless shapeless void 
our natural tendency is to avoid it or to abandon it especially when you are able to get a new one suppose my car got struck somewhere I was in when i was in africa me and jesse we were traveling almost 1200 kilometers away from dar es salaam but when we reached there the engine got stuck and uh, we cannot buy a new car all on a sudden so we sent a person to dar es salaam 1200 kilometers and then he bought a, another engine that's a second hand engine anyway so that person came with the engine 2200 kilometers and uh, then we fixed it so we were waiting for that we were working on that you know why because we cannot just go and buy a new car but suppose people like anil ambani or bill gates suppose his car got uh, problem uh, do you think that he will toy it to a mechanic and uh, sit there and make it and do things like that no in 5 minutes he will get a new car a new version because he is capable of buying a new car and how about god god created everything with one word when god said let there be earth the earth was there so when it is shapeless it was void when it was useless normally what god would do normally means in human eyes he would say okay i abandon this old uh, uh, earth because it is shapeless so i'm going to order another earth he will just say let another earth come a new earth will come but god didn't do that that is the speciality of god that is the character of god in all these passages that's the reason why we say when we read it it is an ordinary passage but when the holy spirit teach us we will understand it in relation with our own life what is the speciality of god what is the revelation of god our god is a creator god our god is a compassionate god our god is a god who never abandon that's what we understand even when the earth that he created it was not ready to receive the light of god it was not keeping constant communion with god it was a rebellious earth in fact but still god loved the earth and he had compassion and he was ready to work on that this is a very beautiful spiritual message what's it our god he created us true we were not ready to receive the light of god and darkness came to our life and our life is lost afflicted it is in darkness it is shapeless when we are shapeless when we are void when we are uh nothing then nobody will come after us everybody will abandon us right that is the natural tendency of people when we have money affluence everything influence people are after us but when we lose everything naturally what happens people just say hey, don't go after her ah she lost everything don't look for him he lost everything he shapeless look his life is void if we go with him we also will be like him no everybody will abandon not just your enemies even your friends and even your own brother sometimes and maybe your mother your father your partner may abandon you but understand the truth that jesus will never never abandon you that is the revelation about god from this ordinary passage God is a who God who never abandon. He is compassionate even when we were rebellious. That's why in Romans chapter 5 it is clearly said Christ loved 
us even when we were enemies that's the love of god god loved the earth and uh, you know what is happening he was sending his holy spirit and the spirit of the lord was moving over the darkness now the earth is ready to receive the holy spirit that's there earlier it was reluctant to receive the light of god but now because it became void and shapeless it learned a lot of lessons i'm saying it in imagination and now when god sent the holy spirit the earth was ready to receive it and uh, the spirit of god was moving over the darkness that's also there the darkness was upon the deep okay that's what we see even in ancient near east people used to believe that all darkness is resting upon the sea for them sea was the the place for darkness even their concept about god even in babylonian many myths a myth it the name of the myth is enima elisha that's we get all these archaeological things in these days there is a story about the creation it says there are two kind of gods good god his name is absu and he lives on fresh water and there's a bad god the bad god is called tiamat tiamat is staying in the on the sea it is upon the sea so the bad god came and fought with the good god absu and uh, he killed absu these are all stories and then uh, absu had a son called marduk and uh, he made friendship with the god of the earth a eh? and then together they went to tiamat and challenged him and tiamat came and absu and Mar- uh, uh, marduk and uh, the god of the earth both of them they tore the uh, tiamat into two they throw one part to the heights and one part down and the part that went up it became the sky and the part that went down it is earth these are all babylonian stories what i am saying we don't believe any of these things and the biblical writer says i don't think that's the way uh, the world came into being no i truly believe truly believe that it is god who created the heavens and earth god is the creator so what i am trying to say in their understanding the depth or deep or the sea was the place dwelling place of the dark god so it is clearly said here that darkness was upon the deep and you know what happens the holy spirit or the spirit of god is coming down and where he is dwelling the same place see here the spirit of god was hovering over the face of the waters what is the spiritual meaning of it it says there are some places devil worked in our life and made it void and shapeless and if you are ready to receive the spirit of god the spirit of god will come to the same place where devil made everything a mess you understand and the spirit of god will move over it or work over it where are the places that we lost in our life where are the places that devil worked in our life and made everything a mess maybe our family life if it is your family life sometimes you know many people are coming uh to us to ask about family life and all they have in, in these days devil works on families i sometimes say the first institution god created it was not church it was family and the devil want to destroy it so the devil works main one of his main 
working place it is families so if you have lost your shape in your family if it is void if it is a mess ask the holy spirit i tell you holy spirit will come to the same place where devil made it a mess and he will recreate it if it is your business if it is your relationship with others if it is your spiritual inconsistency many people have that problem one day they are very spiritual the second day they are losing their spirituality any any place where devil worked the holy spirit is coming and working or moving over the same place my friends when you hear it you ask yourself where did devil work in my life just ask god god now i am shapeless lord i am void i am useless and people are abandoning me but i know that you will never abandon me send your holy spirit move over me so that i can come back to life and god will do that that's why he has given the holy spirit and the holy spirit will move over that's what we see there and the spirit of god was hovering over or brooding over it's like the hen sits upon the ex like a hen sitting upon the ex the holy spirit will sit upon you is not just coming and touching instant healing and things like that this is in these days we need everything instant it's an instant kind of you know that's what we we want every time instantly if now things like that but you know when the holy spirit work it takes time because god wants to transform you it is not some outer thing it's deep inside the spirit of god work only in the proper way now i you know many of the things that is written here we are imagining what was happening because it is written there but when we speak in an imaginary way don't think that it is exactly what the bible says i sometimes imagine what happened when the holy spirit or the spirit of god came upon the darkness and uh, seeing the void and shapeless world maybe god spirit would say yeah why it became like that because i created it good what happened and he found you know we cannot say that god found because god knows everything god said i know what happened it's because of darkness and why darkness because there was no light so what is the remedy the earth need light and god said let there be light my friends this is the way god is doing he is not playing some magic or leading you to some illusionary world what is needed you need light in you because you rejected light the light of the world that is jesus christ why all these disasters happened in your life why you became shapeless and void chaos why it's all because of the absence of light so what is the remedy the remedy is coming back to the light and god said let there be light and there was light when god speak a word that will happen and there was light and when the light came god said god saw that the light was good and god separated the light from darkness that is there don't mix it again many times the problem we face we are trying to mix 
light and darkness. We all know the problems of darkness because we have gone through all the troubles and trials and struggles and afflictions because of the dark things in our life, because we rejected the God's light. And now, my friends, I tell you, God is ready to come over you and recreate everything that Satan destroyed. Satan made everything a chaos. But now, God says, the real problem in your life, it is absence of light. So come to the light, the light of Jesus, so that certainly you will see the work of God in your life. So the first thing is needed. It is not affluence. It is not money. Sometimes we think with money we can solve all our problems. Sometimes we think if I have influence I will do it. It is not influence. It is not money. It is not affluence. None of these, th these things are important. What you need is light because that's what we, you did not have. We were under darkness. So what we lack is light and what we need is light. The light of Jesus. Friends, come to the light of Jesus. And if you need to see that God is pouring out the light upon you, you need to see that you are sitting under the wings of the Holy Spirit. I told you the word which is used here is just the word that we use brooding over like, you know, the hen sitting upon an egg. Likewise, if you are ready to sit under the wings of the Holy Spirit, then there will be light in your life. And when the light came, you know what is happening? Everything is coming back. Am I right? Then you know, God created everything. So God saw the light was good and God separated light from darkness. God called the day, light day and darkness called night. And there was evening and there was morning and the first day. Then again we see that more creation is happening. You just read that passage, you will understand. It is something big. Everything is created. But the first creation, it is light. If there is no light in your life, then none of your problems is going to be solved. Because all the problems in our life is created because of the absence of light. We call it darkness, but what is darkness? Dark, darkness is absence of light. Because we did not give our life to Jesus and we were not living under the light of Jesus, we lost everything. You get my point? That's the reason why I say, my friends, let's surrender ourselves and say, Lord, my life is a chaos. Lord, let thy Holy Spirit move over me I'm ready to sit under the wings of the Holy Spirit. Maybe it will take time. We know an egg, when an egg is under the wings of the hen, it doesn't instantly, it doesn't give birth to chicks, right? It takes time. Likewise, sit patiently under the wings of Jesus, of the Holy Spirit. Then you will see that creation happens. And when God recreates, Everything you need to know, God says, it is good, it is good, it is good. It all started with light. So when we try to spiritually understand this passage, God created us as good, but we rejected light and we were under darkness and everything became a mess. And now it is time for us to ask God, God, move over me. I'm ready to sit under your wings patiently. 
so that creation will happen and god will do that we need to see that god is pronouncing let there be light as god we want to hear your voice saying let there be light i need light in my life the light of jesus so it is time for us to pray let's close our eyes for one minute Let's pray. Jesus, in our life there are many places which is dark and we are shapeless many times and void and wretched, afflicted. We have lost our relation with other people and uh, many times we are struggling with our sins that clings so closely. we need to see that we are coming out of all the struggles of god lord send your holy spirit let him spread his wings upon me o god i am ready to sit under his wings and wait patiently but i want to hear the voice from you let there be light shine upon us o god so that we can enjoy life lord help to see that we are becoming good instead of void yes lord recreate everything that satan destroyed we trust in your god and help us not to mix the light and darkness of god many times we tried to do that but we know that it is you who separated light and darkness and uh, we never want to unite it to god we pray that jesus let your light shine upon us and transform us in jesus name i pray amen